Hi everybody, how are you? Today is Friday, July 20th, and um, I actually wanted to just talk a little bit about this uh, racism and feminism. Um, first of all, feminism is um, a discipline that teaches people about how women experience oppression and violence, and it also talks about how women organize um, towards empowering women um, in different ways. Feminism is not about lesbianism. It's not about um, you know cutting off men's nuts and you know um, discriminating against the penis and all this kind of stuff. And um, what it is, it's actually a very good subject and discipline to learn how to become a better person. And also, um, as if you are a male, to uh, love your female um, and treat her with some respect. Now. Um, uh, this this website was brought to my attention, and uh, it's basically this white chick, and uh, she um, tries to um, exploit. Um, she's actually exploiting the misfortune, and um, of things related to violence. So basically, what she's promoting is she's promoting this movement to cut off men's nuts. Uh, to castrate them and to basically dehumanize uh, what even created her. So um, I've, rec I've been receiving um, a lot of uh, comments to actually respond to her and put her on blast. But when I actually looked at the design of her website, um, this chick is only there to make money. And I don't think her site should actually be shut down. I think that more people need to see the ignorance especially in the Caucasian system, because some people have to also understand as well that not being Caucasian, uh, these are the types of things that create offense for us. For example, I can't say that as a, as a um, woman who identifies with black feminism, um, I can't call every woman you know, my sister in the diaspora or my sister in the struggle because you have this bitch who's actually uh, put up this video and, um, I'm sorry, she hasn't put up a video, she put up this website and it's basically making fun of castrating men and um, this one commentator had said that uh, him and his wife actually went to this um, some kind of outing and uh, they were showing them um, something that had to do with um, a type of animal, um, a cow or cattle. And there was an offer to actually castrate cattle. And um, there was a bunch of white women that just ran to the experience. And the person themselves is not a black person, but um, they're in an interracial relationship. And um, he said that. Uh, you know, he was uh, very disgusted by seeing all these white women just wanting to run to actually, you know, castrate this animal. And um, I don't know the origins of this, but um, women can be very violent. There's actually a really good text. Um, it's by Patricia Montecure Oakney. Um, let me see if I can find it in my library for you. And uh, basically, it talks about how to, um, one sec, Patricia, where are you, where are you? Okay, I'm just looking for this text. It's basic, basically an Aboriginal woman from Canada, and um, she's actually a law professor. And um, she talks about the violence that women do towards each other, and she speaks about how white women very, very are very violent uh, towards Aboriginal women, and that Aboriginal women, um, you know, choose not to organize with white women because their tendencies to actually be very bigoted, racist, um, very problematic, very discriminatory. So um, it's a really good text. It's uh, you know I can't even find. Um, but just look at Patricia Montague Okeny, and um, I forget the title, but it's it's something to the effect, the violence that women do, and um, you may be able to Google the text, or, or just I shouldn't say Google, but go to a university website, 
and uh, look up Patricia Montague Oakney or just look on the internet. There's different search engines. There's Google, there's Bing, there's some other ones. And um, take a reading of her text. Now, um, I also wanted to point out that there's ethical feminists of all colors of the four directions. So you have ethical red, ethical white, ethical black, ethical yellow. And then, of course, you have ethical brown and other colors. But uh, there's ethical that can all align in very, very um, distinct ways. So um, as a black feminist response to this um, woman, um, I, I, I find that very offensive, really, really offensive to even celebrate the castration of our men. And um, I did show some texts where, um, for example, our men were lynched. And, um, you know, all types of medical um, surgical procedures have been um, based on um, these types of practices. So taking male bodies, taking female bodies that are melanin rich and investigating and, you know, doing all kinds of stuff. So um, to this woman, um, I don't even want to put any advertising out there for her because um, she set up her site where she's also asking for donations and she has a following but I think it's really important to actually go look at the following and you can actually see the level of even um, of ed education and the quality of education if a university education teaches you to be something like that then something is wrong with that university I mean look at people like uh, Hillary Clinton for example people hail her as this thing but she's actually a very violent woman because if you actually look at her social, economic, and international policy, and even the way she conducted herself during the uh, Democratic primary, she uh, wasn't even following the rules. She was up against a black male, and she was clearly racist against him. So, you know, you have to be able to identify these things. Now, some people may not even know what racism is because they've never been taught how to deconstruct um, something called white privilege. So um, you have to take some time to actually explore black feminist texts. Um, some that I would suggest would be just type in black feminism, but look for like bell hooks first. She's fabulous. But also look for like um, uh, Alice Walker and something called womanist, which is um, a variation of black feminist, but it ties, it's a term that actually pulls um, the studies about black female empowerment um, away from any type of association with white women. So my black feminist response to this racist white woman is that what she's promoting is not feminism. What she's pro promoting is actually a form of ignorance and uh, a form of um, things that lead to uh, wars, um, contention, and anything but civil and democratic. So um, men should speak up to her and, um, you know, take a look at how she sort of sh structures herself. Now, she structures herself to economically empower herself through violence, then that's, a, that's actually a lesson for a lot of people to take a look and say, wait, mi wait a minute here, you know, what is this person doing? If they think like that, then how are they able to, you know, deal with international relations, for example. Hillary Clinton, she's not that great at all. She's a very, very violent woman. And just because a woman has a title, don't even, even, even think that that's legitimate. In where I am, for example, um, there's uh, something called the Ontario government, uh, Liberal Party regime. And um, in my particular region, um, there's a lot of murders, there's poverty, there's uh, all this development that seems to be benefiting the Italy community. But the black community seems to be pushed out of things. Very, very racist practices. Even uh, governance ha that has been elected uh, have called themselves or have found themselves in certain communities to tell them, get out of the community. And we have told them to, you know what, you get the fuck out. Or else we're going to send you back to your case. So this level of ignorance has to be engaged with. Where did this thing come from? There is a bitch named um, Laura Albanese, and um, she's actually, I mean, go look at her website. She's got all these black colors and stuff, but I'm a constituent. 
in her um, what she was elected for, and I'm asking her to step down. If she's actually afraid of constituents, then you know what, step down. Because that obviously says a lot about the level of your customer service. So, you know, there's a lot of things that we have to take into consideration. Look at this website again, and then go and look at governance. There's racist white women, and what you do is look at women who actually consider themselves not white, but ethnic, but promote white-centric policy very sophisticated in Ontario and try and connect the analysis but also think about some solutions. I'm a black female. Do I identify with all of feminism? Absolutely not because I ask for ethics and yes women from different um, colors of the um, indigenous medicine wheel can align in very very powerful ways. So I may be like the little baby feminist who's like, oh, a little black feminist, and she's training to be this or that or whatever, but then there's the big giant size ones who are like, oh, no. So they all collaborate, and you know what? Things are gone like that. So, um, and things can be brought in just like that as well. So um, with respect to responding to that racist woman, um, it's just a matter of education. And uh, what we do is we don't get into dramatizations, we actually get into intellectual discussions. So um, what would be appropriate would be to actually arrange for an interview and um, sit down with this woman and have her explain herself but also have a purpose to it. And uh, yeah, you can get into dramatization and you know, but um, you have to be able to feel that and if you don't feel that something is wrong with that, then something is wrong with the type of human you are. That's my response to racist white women.